sweetie pie and welcome back to my channel or if you've never been here before then you definitely need to subscribe first first subscribe and then go check out my channel in the description go look around see if you enjoy anything see if there's anything that you like and then yeah comment down below if there are any requests that you guys would like me to do today we're doing something exciting I love essence I'm sure you can see the title. This is an essence video and this is just like a whole bunch of new stuff that they've gotten. I'm going to do like a whole try on get ready with me with some other products uh, next weekend and I'm definitely going to use a few of these products for you guys so you guys can see them in action. But for today we're just going to do like an essence haul and I'm going to talk about some of this stuff and I have a few little like I have a clip of the one product that I wanted to show you guys just so you know you can get a feel for these products I have had them I've had most of them for about mm, a week now so I can give a little bit of information on them I am going to do a follow-up haul of both of the hauls that I posted this week um, just so that you guys can see if I've used these products if I like them so on and so forth anyway let's get into this haul don't forget to subscribe I, yeah, you didn't think I was going to say it again, did you? Don't forget to subscribe. It is Canada, and I'm sorry that it is not prettier in the lighting situation, but I live in Canada, and it is cloudy all winter long. So, it is what it is. All right, guys, so let's get into the all video. All right, guys, so I have a crap ton of stuff here. I have, like, at least 10 products that I'm staring at. I'm going to start with the one product that is a no-go for me. It is the new Essence Color Correcting Liquid Concealers. They look like this and very pretty packaging. Essence always has like a very like unique packaging idea and it says wake up effect from this concealer. This is the pink one. Yes, it is pastel pink. This does absolutely nothing. Now, I've swatched it twice on my hand, and, like, it's just, there's no, there's nothing to this. I'm going to try and use it as an eye primer, maybe, but as for now, this is going in, like, the dud products. I'm going to show you um, a little clip of me applying it. see there's no coverage to this I don't know if all of them are like that they have a yellow one and a green one I might pick up the yellow one maybe but honestly I feel like it might be just a waste of money because a pink like the pink is like one of the easier ones to create in my opinion so like I love essence and I pretty much I don't think I've had a flop for a while but this concealer is definitely a completely flop for me um like it just it it has no coverage no like opaqueness no color to it it's just a no-go it's done I'm gonna take I should not be drinking this without a straw but oh my gosh does anybody else like wild cherry pepsi oh this is not a sponsored video <laughs> all right guys so we're gonna go on and now I'm gonna show you my most favorite item out of this collection and it is definitely their metal, our metal shock eyeshadows okay if you are in like love with the ColourPop, um oh what are they called I'm gonna put the name right here they are their liquid eyeshadows everyone's comparing to them everyone is comparing them to the glitter and glow eyeshadows from Stila I don't think they're like that really I think they're more of the um like liquid eyeshadow kind of like their shimmer and glows those are you know somewhat similar the ColourPop ones have glitter in them that is definitely true uh, but I just feel like they're a little less opaque than the steel ones. Now, mind you, let's go in price range here. The um, the steel glitter and glows and the shimmer and glows are glows are thirty one dollars. I think yeah, like thirty one dollars a piece. Now you have the ColourPop ones, which I think are eight. I will put a different number here if I'm 
incorrect. Then you have the Essence Metal Shock eyeshadows, and these are $5.49 a piece. So depending on where you are and um, if you can get your hands on this stuff, is going to depend on which ones you want. I strongly, strongly suggest going to pick these up. Now, I do have a few things about them. One, you're going to want to use a base underneath this, whether that is, you know, um, you know, your foundation or your concealer and some powder and then these, or it's an actual glitter glue or, you know, any of those things is going to help these adhere to your eyes. Today, I put down a white base. I put my LA Girl white base down. Then I applied this one, which is in Moon Dust, and it is a silver one. And then what I did was I used the Kristen Leanne Kaleidoscope palette and I did kind of a cut crease or what I would call a cut crease. And yeah, so I did that. And one thing, another like another thing that you, and you wanted to add on to that, I know I'm all over the place, is that uh, you really do have to work fast if you want to put eyeshadows on top of these because they dry very similar to the ColourPop and the Steel ones. Um, you can totally totally 100% put these over top of eyeshadows. Um, I did a look with this one right here which is in Total Eclipse and it is this very pretty like purpley color with silver and blue glitter in it. Oh it's beautiful. Oh oh and what I did was I put a darker color down. I put like a really stark purple all over my lid. And then I went in with this on the actual like lower lid area, like right here. It looked so beautiful. And I don't think I got any pictures of that one either. But I think that's the type of look I'm going to do next weekend for my Get Ready With you. Me. I really do want to use this one. I also have this one in Second to Mars. And it is this peachy one with like gold shimmer in it. This one was not as good. And I'm just going to swatch them on my hands real quick for you guys. They're just a little tiny bit less opaque um, than the Stila ones. And they can totally be built up though. You can go in with a second coat like no problem. And from what I can see, they don't flake or budge or, you know, go everywhere. The shimmer's not falling down onto your face. I'm strongly thinking that I want to go get, oh my gosh. This one's so pretty. This one's definitely my favorite one in um, Total Eclipse. But there they are right there. That one in Total Eclipse, though. Oh, my gosh. The silver is very pretty. They have gold. They have, I think, maybe four more, which, oh, man, literally, I may actually just go pick them all up and swatch them for you guys and do an entire video on them just because those are so pretty. But, yes, so they have those. Those are new. Another thing that I noticed is that they are repackaging all of their liquid lipsticks and their lip glosses. I wasn't sure about the formula being changed, and I've had a lot of their lip glosses and liquid Lips. I didn't buy any of those. And another thing that I missed was a small moon palette that they had. I've got quite a few Essence palettes that I don't really use that much, so I kind of opted out of the eyeshadow for now. I've been picking up eyeshadow, eyeshadow, eyeshadow. I didn't need any more eyeshadow. But they also have reformulated their um, lip liners. These are some of the best lip liners I've have ever used, and they're some of the cheapest. I think they are $2.49, and since they are reformulating everything, this one's in Peachy Keen, then you may want to go look and see if your store is getting rid of the old ones because mine were $1.50. Uh, and this is in Sucker for Grey. So you have blah, blah, Peachy Keen and Sucker for Grey. And they're very pretty. They're just firm enough that I don't think you could use them all over the lips because they are a little bit more firm. But I kind of like that in a lip liner because I feel like when they're too creamy, they're just, they get everywhere and I just have a mess on my hands. So definitely if you'd like some good, uh, lip liners, blah, 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 like what am I talking about? If you like good lip liners, definitely go check that out. I think that you guys would definitely enjoy them. They're 250. 
who can say no? Um, they also have a new blush. Now, I swore I've seen these before, but I think these are new shades. This blush I am wearing today, it is in the Berry Connection. And I don't like these as much as their uh, soft touch blushes. Those ones are so amazing. But this one is really pretty if I can get it open. It has this kind of, um, what do they call that? It's a triangular where some of the pans are lifted and it's very pretty. It's just like a, you know, it's a, it's a pinky blush. It's not too overly pigmented. And if you're looking for a cheap, like, gonna last forever and is going to give your cheeks a, you know, nice flush, go and buy the blush. It ain't that bad. Um, have I had better blushes from them? Definitely. Another thing that I was very surprised about, they have this Essence the Cushion Liner. I'm not into anything cushion. Honestly, I think it's kind of a waste of money because the cushion is like soaking up all the product. You're never going to get all that product out of a cushion. But I have been interested in trying a cushion eyeliner. And as you can see, it's literally just like, I, oh, I don't want to stick my, well, whatever. You can literally, and it's a black liquid liner. Now, this is an actual liquid liner. It's not a gel. It's not a cream. It's a liquid. I used it today. And it was pretty good. I had actually no problems putting this eyeliner on. The only problem I had was that my I had to find a brush that I could finesse. The Tarte eyeliner brush. Holy, I'm all over the place. I've done that like 10 times now. The Tarte eyeliner brush. Um, I have a mini one of the Tarte brush. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. It has an ergonomic kind of tilted handle. It was very nice. Now, depending on how long this is going to last, because I don't wear eyeliner every day. I'm not an eyeliner junkie. You know, I'm going to keep the lid on real tight and hope for the best. I did kind of stick my finger in there a little bit, and then I was poking around with my brush to see how saturated it was. It's pretty saturated. So, who knows? I don't know how it's going to last, but I do think that this is kind of, like, cool, I guess. It's just a sponge in a container. Like, I don't know. Okay, another, this is the last thing I think. Oh, this is the last thing. Okay. So this is the last thing they have come out with. This is the Vibrant Shock Lip Paints. And they have about six of them where I saw. And I just grabbed two of the colors that I thought were really beautiful and, you know, nice and pretty and bright. The one I'm wearing today is in Black Widow. And it is this one right here. Now... I want to make sure that everyone knows this because I thought for like when I was reading the back it says liquid lipstick with a velvet matte finish and a nowhere feel vibrant color in just one swipe now this one oh my gosh like vibrant in just one swipe is so right they're not liquid lipsticks though they do they do dry down pretty matte um, and there are very vibrant colors uh, the pink is surprisingly a lot more sheer than the blue. It's still a very pretty color. It's just not my favorite color. You know what? I'm going to go put it on for you guys so that you can see, and then we'll finish up this video. I'll be back. Hi, guys. Editing Melissa here. I totally forgot an item that I wanted to throw in to this haul, um, Essence um, new stuff haul. Uh, it is the Essence Make Me Glow Liquid Highlighter, and the swatch is right there. It is really pretty. Um, it doesn't go over powder awesomely. You kind of got to be a little bit careful there, but if you put it on um, like right after you do your foundation, or you can mix it in with your foundation, and it's okay for that. It's a pretty small bottle, and um, I'm not sure. Let me liquid highlighter with subtle silky pink pigment for a fresh radiant look. Healthy glow. They don't really tell you how to use it, but yeah. So there's that one. So yeah, see you later guys. So yeah guys, as you can see, it's just, it's not as opaque. And I did want to also mention these applicators, they're large. Like I really, I think they could have gone with a much smaller applicator. And the scent, it's very, um, like 
fake candy-ish. I don't know. Um, I like these. I think that this one is amazing and I will deal with the kind of fake candy scent. Uh, the only thing you do have to be careful of is BAM. It's going to stain your lips. Uh, so if you, you know, don't use a lot of lipstick in, on like a regular basis and you put this on, you're probably going to have a stain for a bit and you're going to have to put something on your lips so that you don't have like that weird blue stain. Just making sure. Uh, they don't really say anything about that on the packaging from what I can tell, but regardless, I'm telling you now, it will definitely stain your lips. I love it but it will stain your lips. <laughs> All right, guys. Whoa. Hi, background. Oh, hi, background. Um, there we go. All right, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I am so excited to try this, like, some of these products on camera. If you guys did not see the last video I filmed this weekend, um, it will be, like, right here. Go watch that. I have some Physicians Formula. I have some CoverGirl uh, Vital Elixir stuff that just came in. Bunch of stuff. Oh, Butter Highlight. Oh my god. Go watch that video. And here is another video if that one doesn't interest you. And definitely click on this face right here if you want to subscribe to my channel and see more hauls and, you know, all of the videos that I have going on right now. I have a huge list of videos that I got, want to film for you guys. Videos that I wouldn't normally film. I want to do because, you know, I'm just, I'm done kind of doing tons of reviews constantly, daily, daily, daily. I want to do some different types of videos. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and remember to subscribe on my face and I love you guys. See you later. Bye.